Hi, my name is Havan Riyartik. The title of my presentation is Inquiry of Experiences on Stuttering and Expectations from Therapy of Parents of Preschool Children with Stuttering. Stuttering is a neurodevelopmental disorder that primarily affects fluence also other developmental areas. Stuttering negatively affects not only the child's development but also their parents who have an important role in their child's development. If parents are negatively affected by stuttering, they may find it difficult to support their child's development and thus the effectiveness of stuttering therapy may be reduced. In this context, as researchers have pointed, it is important to know parents' experiences regarding stuttering and their expectations of therapy. However, there are limited studies on the experiences and expectations of parents of children who stutter. Stuttering studies are usually carried out with mothers, although it is recommended that fathers should also be involved. The aim of the study is to inquire the experiences regarding stuttering and the expectations of therapy of parents of children who stutter. The study was carried out with a qualitative research method and descriptive analysis. Total of eight participants were analyzed. To collect data, the interviews were held semi-structured and online via Zoom. Before the individual interviews, two pilot interviews were carried out and get experts' opinions about the questions of the interview to evaluate the questions of the interview. For data analysis, the transcripts of the interviews were extracted via transcriptor, coding was made, and a descriptive analysis was performed. And finally, the main teams and subteams were created. Qualitative resource transworthiness procedures were followed in this data obtaining and data analysis process. For example, the research was member controlled with validity committees for credibility and dependability. To ensure the transworthiness of the data, the research authors made in 19 sessions and five validity committees were organised. 12 main teams and 34 subteams emerged in the study. Findings regarding experience have shown that both the, both the child and his or parents were negatively, negatively affected before therapy. After the therapy, their experiences changed positively. The results show that mothers generally had more negative experiences than fathers. Parents have negative experiences such as existing accurate information about stuttering, reaching the SLP, and having inaccurate attitudes towards their children. However, after the therapy, the negative experiences of parents are changed positively. The findings reveal that parental expectations differ significantly before and after the therapy, while the expectation from therapy before therapy was fluency. After getting therapy, their expectation was diminished the effects of stuttering on other areas of development. The findings show that parents expect to SLP to provide accurate information about stuttering and to have good interaction with their children. The team was revealed that parents' expectations of therapy were met only if therapy was received from an experienced SLP in stuttering. The parents of preschool children with stuttering had intentional negative experiences in many aspects of their lives before therapy, but these experiences changed positively after therapy with accurate information. Parents primarily expect the therapy to support their child's development. In addition to this, accurate information and SLPs establishing a good interaction with their children also constitute the context of the expectations. It may be more accurate to evaluate the experiences and expectations of each parent individually rather than categorizing of mothers and fathers. In sum, this, stud this study once again demonstrated the importance of parents-oriented stuttering therapies in preschool periods. The study was conducted with individual interviews. Future studies can be conducted with focus group to enrich the data. Results are for all the parents of preschool children who stutter, therefore studies can carry out with parents of children who have different speech and language disorders and parents of children who stutter at different ages in the future. Thank you for listening.